Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use my new rig, fluid rig, and also I'm going to be showing the stuff that it can do and all that. So let's get started. So you want to head over to my Gumroad and download it. The rig isn't published yet, so I can't really show you how to do that. But there's a link in the description. And if you go to there and you download it, put in your email and all that, then you'll get the rig. And you will need to extract the zip for it to properly work. Once you come in here, the first thing you'll see is a resources folder, standalone folder, a load of shortcuts, a readme file and the two rigs. So let me just explain what these all mean. So a resources folder does not really matter. It's, I mean, it doesn't really matter to the user. It matters to me, but not to the user. It's just where all files such as textures and stuff and default stuff uh, is kept. The standalone folders where all the uh, normal character rigs are saved. It's like Roblox in 2.0, Blocky, Woman, all that. Discord server, download more rigs, Twitter, YouTube channel, all these are all just links that you can double click on to go to and a readme file will just have text that I've put in there which you can see right here. So let's just check out Fluid Rig first. You will need Blender 3.4 to be able to use this version of Fluid Rig. You will probably need a later version for another version of this rig. So this is what you get greeted with when you first open a file. Uh, you're in a rig default workspace. There, these are the ones and you have the viewport right here. So let's just firstly get started on how to change the texture. So all you need to do is just go to either the R6 texture or the R15 texture. Uh, this is for if you're planning to use the R15 version of this or the R6 version of this. Yes, there is a switch to change to R15. It's actually really useful and cool. But yeah, all you need to do is just go to one of these and open a new file right here. And that is it. You can just go back to rig default and uh, you will find your texture there. But just to let you know though, the texture will not show up in solid um, mode. It will only show show up in here, here, and when you're in material preview or rendered. Also to try and keep this more user friendly, I've, I've added the old render settings for cycles here, um, because some people would end up rendering like 4096 samples and go, why is it going so slow? Well that's why. Um, but anyways, let's get started on how to use a rig, the basics, whatever. So as any other rig would work, all you need to do is just select a control and, you know, Rotate it around. It's easy. The rotation tool should be on by default. However, if it isn't, you can just switch it there. One thing that's uh, different about uh, these rigs that you can't do in my older rigs is that you can actually move around parts that you shouldn't be able to move around to do fun little things. So you can move the hip around and whatever. Also, have something else is upper torso and hip controls, and the torso is built differently. Which you can see right here. One other thing is that the bends are sharper on a blocky rig, plus they go up to 120 degrees, I'm pretty sure. That's light, it's 112, but still. And just going back right here to the back of the head, you will see there is this little panel right here with uh, four different icons. So this is the settings, so this just uh, controls everything really. Uh, which is the rig detail and the smooth fix. So let me explain what smooth fix is. So smooth fix is where if you turn the rig detail down to zero, you will see that it actually still appears smooth, but if you turn it off, then it's not. It may cause lag, I don't know. I'm on a good system, so I don't know. But you can always turn it off if you want. Next, we're heading over to the IK controls. So this lets you change the inverse kinematics on uh, different body parts. So this time we have arm IK, something that we didn't have before, we only had leg IK, but now we have arm IK, so if we turn all of these on, you can see we have it on the arms now, which is, yeah, not something we had before. Plus we have these really nice fancy feet which you can control. Now these two icons are probably the most useful ones out of this rig. In fact, really, the most wowing features, really. So this is a pen icon, and you can customise the material of the character. So if we pop over to material view right here, and we change to these settings, we can turn on bump, which adds bump, of course. There's also a glossy switch. I actually went into an aesthetic server for Roblox Studio FX, and I had to find a tutorial to actually know the proper values to make a proper glossy um, material for your GFX because I know that a lot of people who would be using this glossy um, switch would be aesthetic uh, GFX creators so I thought why not why not just make this feature so I specified it to the values that people in tutorials have listed then we have surface imperfections which is actually probably the most heavy um, part of this material as you can see it's what the name says, surface imperfections. It makes your character look a bit 
like it's uh, dirty, wet, there's a little bit of shine on some parts then it actually makes your character look more like a toy and it just, it's more realistic and you can even turn on the glossiness to make it look more wet at the same time and here there's unlocking limbs which if turned off uh, the arms and the, the limbs only rotate to 90 degrees but if turned on as you can see all the way up to 112 this only affects the blocky rig and if you go to another rig it would by default go to like 120 or something at least past 90 degrees so now we've gone past that this is the avatar so what exactly does this do this has a load of different features and we're gonna start off with the face rigs because that is what I enjoy a lot about showing off my rigs. So we have the first one which you've really seen before, it's Cloud Face. I've added a few updates recently to Cloud Face. Now it doesn't bug out when motion blur is turned on. You know it's practically the same rig, it's just minor fixes. And there's another face rig, one that's 2D. I've already been working on another 2D face rig as well but um, I don't think I'm going to release that just yet. It's going to be for an update, so uh, this is what you'll get to enjoy. Classic face. So, um, you have seen one of those rigs before where it's those face pack type of rigs. Well, this one is that, but with classic Roblox faces. It's quite simple, actually, but it can do a lot. So these are the eye controls, and as you can see, it just changes between different textures. I don't know how many faces there are on here, I've, I've forgotten, I, I've lost count to be honest. And these are the extras which don't uh, actually show by default, but if we just move this through here, you have the freckles, you have the scar, you have the blush. So yeah, there's uh, some useful stuff. And then you have the mouth. So if you scroll through here, you have all these different ones. I think there's a lot of choice for the mouth and the eyes, not that much for the extras though. And actually something I got from Copious, formerly Solomon Rex, you can actually change the colour of these different materials and turn on glow. Which, um, you know, I, I saw actually in the comments section of one of my videos once. Um, and so instead of making a tutorial, I just made it built into this rig. And there's other settings like invert X, invert Y. This was actually meant for the extras because I saw that some of these were actually getting flipped over. Like the scar, I, I forgot if it's meant to be in this placement, but you can actually invert the X and that's wrong, then there you are. And looking at these controls in the middle, so this moves around every single part of a face and, uh, and this just moves around individual parts, the extras right here, which, you know, you can have a look right here. So yeah, a load of cool stuff there. Now moving on from face rigs, we have the R15 switch, which you can see in action right here. So I haven't called it R15 or R6 or anything, I call it a generation, because I hadn't, I didn't know what else to call it and I wanted to be cool. So you will see one of the things that's really, really cool about this R15 rig is that, uh, in fact all of the R15 rigs is that there is no clashing. Uh, none of the objects are colliding into each other and it's all really cool stuff. Another really cool thing actually is that these also switch extremely seamlessly so if you go right here to the avatar and you change the generation back to one it's the same change it back to two it's the same and i really like this idea because once i made a walk cycle uh, with the roblox and 2.0 rig and i was so tempted to just render out one version r15 and one in r6 just because i can so uh yeah r15 creators have fun with that feature now that we're done with the generation feature and now you can see we have the package switching feature so it's been a year and throughout that year i have learned a load of different things about animation about rigging and some of it was actually done with trial and error and a lot of this rig actually was built off of trial and error so let me just give you a little bit of a story time i made this rig last year which i said i was going to release and it was a package switching rig a bit like this and in fact it was literally finished and really it was like the ultimate rig except um it had a switch feature right here the difference between that old rig and this one you're about to see so this is what has been one thing that i've been really hard at work on there you are the controls change and that's actually one of the biggest parts of this rig 
I don't know if there is any other package rig out there apart from the ultimate rig for Blender, for Blender, remember, for Blender, that has the controls changing like this super flexibly. And so really you can just change any of these super easily. And yeah, these all work really, really well. Uh, and actually the reason why there are standalone files is not only just because I want to give you guys more choice and freedom, it's because they were built off of those files. I made one blocky rig and based on that I made more rigs. So it's just brig mania. Now there is one downside to this and it's uh, one that it may lag on some low end devices and two that you will see if we pose in one place it won't seamlessly switch, a bit like that. No, I haven't tried this yet, but uh, I think you might be able to copy the pose over because um, the names of the bones are almost the same. But yeah, that's one like downside of this. Although what's still cool is that, you know, the R15 works. We've got some great stuff over here. And we even have, uh, which may surprise you, a finger rig. In fact, finger rigs on both arms because, you know, you can't have it on only one. So this finger rig, um, actually took a while to make. There was one day where I made no progress and I literally, I think I, think I almost cried. I definitely got quite angry. Um, but it's because weight painting this was so hard to do. And you know, it's all, it's all about the ambition and the fact that, you know, I just want to keep growing up from my previous works. I feel like I was just expecting too much out of myself. And now we're going to check out the standard note files because they are like one or two perks from using it. It's closing out of here. If we go to standalone folder, you will see we have all of these and it's all crazy. Don't worry, I will show you where to go. So if you are on a low end device and you don't want lag or you're trying to make like a background character that you really don't care about, use the light versions. If you actually want to do something with these rigs or you have a high end device, whatever, use the normal files. So I don't really have the time to check all of these out. So I'm just going to go to the Roblox and 2.0 rig first. So here we are in the Roblox and 2.0 rig. It's practically the same, except there are a few differences. So the rig's a lot lighter, so if we go and see right here, we will see there is no uh, unlocking limbs setting right here. And you will see these are only two features in the avatar properties. And just to check out the light version, uh, for example, there is no face rig with the light version. There's only the generation feature on the avatar properties, so that's a bit of a bummer. But, you know, it's, it's for the low-end devices. Also, the rig details set to zero by default, but you can always turn it up if you want. Now checking out the boy rig, if we go to animation right here, there are pose libraries. Currently there are only two because I haven't really taken the time to add more than two, but they are really just fist clenches, as you can see right here. I do plan on adding more in the future, but again, that's in the future. So uh, yeah. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you for being patient with me. I haven't uploaded in a month, but um, you can see this is what I've come back with. So this is a nice surprise. Any issues you find with this rig, don't hesitate to report it in my Discord server, link in the description. And you know, check out my other rigs too on, on Gumroad. I've got some other stuff there. Anyways, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.